Good evening, everyone. This is Linda. I know it's getting kind of dark out here, <laughs> but I um, I stopped by today. I wanted to share some of the things that I've been doing in my garden, uh, what, uh, yesterday and today, right? So, Jada is tasting jicama for the very first time. Also, also, uh, I'm going to share the gift that I received in the mail, right? Uh, there's some other stuff in there, too, but check out the video, right? <laughs> But first, if you are not subscribed to the channel, mm -hmm, hit the subscribe button. I will be sharing my Zone 9 garden. Yay! 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 Let's get on with the video. Hello, everybody. This is Jada, and I just got back from school. And today, I will be trying this new vegetable called jicama. So, yeah. All right. Hey, everybody. I'm here. So, I put it in a bowl just like I did mine. Um, it's uh, it's cool. And, uh, oh, I didn't bring a napkin out here. But that's okay. You can wipe it on my pants. You can wipe your fingers on my pants if you need. So, uh, not that little piece because I want you to get a nice nice bite a nice bite yeah that look good that look good <laughs> all right and we want your pure honest opinion okay you excited <laughs> yep okay <laughs> it's like a mix of things it's it's a mix uh yeah yeah wow what Take another bite. Take another bite. Okay. Okay. At first, I mm. thought apple. Really? Mm hmm Okay. And then, I tasted it like a celery. Okay. And then it went to like romaine lettuce. Really? It just went like, like a whole cycle through flavors. It was weird. Really? Yeah. But good. Um, so... So the taste, is it a sweet or sour or bitter? What, what, what is that taste? It's like, it's hard to explain. It's like, not bitter as in like, but like, like a good bitter, but also kind of sweet yeah. at the same time. Let me taste this one. Let me taste this piece. I got this. It's like the first little crunch is sweet. Like fades into bitter, but it's still good. Yeah, it does have that um, that other vegetable taste to it. I just taste romaine lettuce, like at the end thing, definitely. It's it's, really it's like though. it's like you can smell it. I do. You, you can smell it. I definitely do. Wow. Isn't that weird? It's very good though. So. Do you think this would be great in a salad? Yeah. Yeah. Because, like, if you like apples in salad, this mm -hmm. would be perfect for you. Yeah. Like, yeah. 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 Um, tell me this. Do it makes you think of a white potato in any way? Like really? The texture. And mm -hmm. it's, like, kind of powdery, like starchy. But it's not as starchy, huh? Mm -mm. It's mm -hmm. like It tastes like a tiny bit of powder, but not mm -hmm. really. But you like it. So I have seven cups over there that have seven seeds of jicama in it. You glad? Okay, good, good. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So the next way we're going to try it is we're going to, I'm going to make a salad. And we're going to put it in a salad. Okay? I'm excited. <laughs> All right. I am too. All right. Thank you. Later, y'all. <laughs> I hope you all are having a beautiful, today is Wednesday morning, Wednesday morning, um, I'm having a beautiful morning today, yeah, at first it was gloomy and, <laughs> yeah, it was really gloomy out here, but it's nice in the sun, she, she, she coming on out, she coming on out, this is a uh, Lacinato dinosaur kale, yeah. So, uh, 
If you were on the live last night, first of all, I want to thank you all so much. But then, you know, uh, we always have a great time on the live. I truly do. And I hope you all that comes to the live, I hope you all enjoy as much as I do. Yeah. But if you was on the live last night, which was Tuesday night, um, I talked about these gifts. So, first of all, I want to say to you, these gifts are from growing out the box. Growing out the box. Man, I thank you so much. Now, you know, the other bed. So, let me show that bed. Wait a minute. <laughs> growing out the box bed. This is the way she looked today. Uh, she have lots of blue kale in her. Carrots, onions, garlics, and celery. I thought we had a celery in here. Yeah, there's one right there. <laughs> but these um, these cold temperatures got most of them because I did not cover this bed at all. But look at this blue kale. She said, yeah, I could handle it. <laughs> yeah. Also, there's some um, thousand head kale right here. But this is my first growing out the box bed. That's her. She is really big. She's beautiful. And she is aluminum. Yeah. So, let me share what I received on yesterday. Okay? So, this is one. <laughs> yeah. So, this is one of the beds I received on yesterday from Growing Out the Box. Man, thank you. Thank you. And uh, I asked him about it uh, last night, and he said, well, one of them definitely is for a little T-Nog, and that is just so cool. So this is the stats on these garden beds. It's a metal raised bed. That's the size of them. <laughs> so cool, so cool, y'all. Uh, and it will be put up right here. So this is where little Tino will be. She gonna get it all together. And my son-in-law and I are gonna take his truck and we're going down and we're gonna uh, get the soil that I like. Yeah. Let me share the other one. So this is the other bed. And I'm gonna put it over here by my in-ground bed. But what I'm gonna do I'm going to take some of this top layer off. Not all of it, but most. I'm going to go down a little bit and take that off and put this soil in the middle of this bed. Yeah. But it will be set up right here where this little in-ground bed is. Thank you, man. Thank you. Thank you so much. And I think the stats are the same on both on both raised bed. Yeah. They are the same. Yep. And it's, they're both metal guard beds. And that's the way they look. So darn cool, I tell you. So cool. Thank you, man. So those are my two raised beds from growing out the box. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. All right, everybody, Ben is here, and there you go. There you go. Let's just say that, Chris. <laughs> ben is putting it together, baby. Yes. Huh? Yeah. But but it still could go back a little bit. I could, I could move that. I could move that. Yeah, it's, it's going to be perfect. Yeah, it's, it's going to be good there. You're going to put all the pieces together and then do them all? I'm going to do both sides and then I'm going to do the top. Okay, okay. This, this little t -Nog bed behind me. Yeah. Anyway, Ben is getting it together. 
and um, I got to see what day uh, my son-in-law could come here and um, we go over and get the soil. Yeah. You got it, Ben? <laughs> cool. All right, guys. This is my mullen. So family, I have been harvesting mullen since a little after Thanksgiving. This mullen I have left here in my garden. I did not cover her during this winter storm we had. Now, have I lost some leaves? Yes, I have. But as you can see, she bounced back very very beautifully this mullen is have been just a huge access to my garden so i've learned i learned about the mullen maybe about three or four years ago but many of you know that every year i go and i try to find new vegetables new herbs new fruits new flowers every year to drop in my garden so it took some time for the mullen to get around to being on the drop list right <laughs> but i dropped her about two years ago and i've been having mullen in my garden ever since uh, whatever my weather brings she handled it fine but i want to tell you about the reason i dropped mullen in the beginning yeah, why I wanted this plant so much. Now, in many places, the mullen grows wild. Yeah, it grows wild. But in my area, I have never found it wild. So I ordered seeds. Yeah. The mullen helps the respiratory system. That's her job. That's where she goes and deal with your respiratory system. If you have a cold, if you have a cough, allergies, asthma, bronchitis, what she does, she helps you cough and get all of that stuff up. Yeah, she get it out you. That's what she does. She promotes healthy lungs. Yeah, she loosen up mucus. That's what she does. She's anti-inflammatory as well as antibacterial. This plant is just a no-brainer for our world today. And all of the things that we're going through with respiratory systems and problems. I thank God for it. And I will always have her in my garden. Yeah, I have a lot of mullen. I have dehydrated and they are in, I have some in Marlowe bags. I have some in Ball's jar. But yeah, family, I will always have her. I love drinking it warm. It's really good. And it, I love to do it at night. It helps me sleep. Yeah. So if you're, if you have a cold or a cough, Try, grow the mullein. So this is my mullein in the dehydrator. I have, I think, seven trays. I'm not sure, um, full. And I'm going to get it all started. And so what I did was I cleaned it really well. And... Um, Mullen is all is textured. Really have a like a, a material feel when you hold the leaves. So yeah. So now they are all in the dehydrator. Yeah. All right. So this is my mullen. She is ready. So let's jar it up. All right. So I have some balls jars here, and I'm just gonna put them in here. They were nice and dry. I'm gonna put some in a plastic Ziploc bag. 
and I'm gonna send it to my friend Myra. Myra wanna want some of this mullin, so I'm gonna send her some mullin, y'all. But anyway, this is my mullin I harvest. <laughs> I do have some oxygen absorbers. Um, I will put in one or two, but not yet. I'm going to wait till I finish doing what I have to do to take out some for Myra. But anyway, there is my mullein all nice and dry. Yeah, that's it. All right, guys. I'm going to drop some seeds outside today. And we are going to watch them grow so one thing i'm gonna i'm gonna drop i'm gonna drop some carrots i'm gonna drop this radicchio and some kale i'm not gonna drop this i have two growing already i'm gonna drop some of my my save seeds uh i want a deal out of there that's that's for sure let's see here and here she is. Yeah, that's Jill that I harvest. And um, I'm going to drop a few of my butterfly peas. They strong like peas, so we're going to drop them. And I'm going to drop these butterfly peas along with... I have another butterfly pea I'm going to house and get, but... What it, where's this other seed I want? It's a it's a fairy moss seed, I think. I'm definitely gonna drop some of these carrots. Oh, where's my seed? Ah, there she is. Miss Sweet Pea. I'm gonna drop Miss Sweet Pea with my butterfly peas. Uh, both. I'm going to go and get the other one I just purchased, the Lavender Butterfly Pea. And, of course, these are my original ones. Yeah, we're going to, I'm going to drop that right there on this little trellis. And I'm going to drop some leeks. Yep, I'm going to drop this one, this dill my deal. I'm going to drop them on the opposite side of this uh, 100 gallon grow bag. Yeah. And some others. I'm going to drop one of, maybe one or two in here. But, uh, uh, I'm making a mess, y'all. But this is what I'm going to do today. I'm going to drop many of these seeds, but definitely I'm going to drop a lot of carrots in this little bed and that's going to be up front it's going to be carrots in there i'm gonna drop two cabbages um in the middle and um yeah we're gonna get it together all right i'll come back when it's done mm -hmm. so everything is planted in this 100 gallon grow bag it's all done. It's all done. It's in there. 